I've had some people ask me about the dimensions on this go-kart so we'll take a little walk around and see what we got. From the front tube all the way to the rear it's going to be 50 inches. That's because this is just one single 48 inch length of pipe that was cut so and welded on the angle right back here and then in the back two one inch uh, square tubing was then welded to the ends so you got your 48 inches and then you got your tube in the front and that tube in the back to give you your full 50 inches <coughs> this axle came from Northern Freight and this was their smaller go-kart axle it's still one inch and or northern tool, I should say, not northern freight. And the width on my frame is 26 at the rear, which means it's also going to be uh, close to that for the front arms. Let's take a look. So from the front arm all the way to the corner is 20, 26. And my bolts that act as the spindles bolts there at about drilled at about three quarters back for the spindles. The engine compartment area from tube to the back tube is ten and three quarters of an inch and that gives you enough room for where I mount the seat and so forth so that the engine doesn't go too far beyond the back of the frame and you can fit the jack shaft and everything else in with this engine since it's a rear pull for the carb I just bent some tubing steel tubing and ran my throttle cable through that so it comes out from underneath around and then back up so that it can pull the throttle properly on this uh, two and a half horse engine. Brake system was also from Northern Freight. I did just change out to a smaller rear sprocket on the axle. Instead of the 60 tooth we now have a 40 tooth which gives me more ground clearance uh, for going over rocks and so forth. And uh, I just, for this particular sprocket, I had to redrill the, the spindle holder, or the sprocket holder. <clears throat> and then I went to a lower tooth on my jack shaft. So actually right now, my gear ratio is pretty much the same as it was in the videos um, with more ground clearance. For the brake, uh, it comes with this metal mount and I just went ahead and welded it right across on an angle which gave me enough space for the axle and the brake assembly to fit and so it wouldn't be too tight. And it's welded top and bottom so it's nice and strong, welded right to the frame. <clears throat> for the axle, these are bearings that I just got at our local farm fleet. I think they're called pillow bearings and it's a pillow housing and uh, this isn't the super duper cast one these are just the like a stamp steel or whatever but they're plenty strong they haven't bent or anything uh, once they've been on there <clears throat> fairly inexpensive and they were you know locally attainable The wheels were what started this project. These were $10 a piece from Menards and they came on rims that had pressed in bearings. Uh, but the bearings would keep pressing in on themselves. Uh, so I had to swap out the rims. I bought some actual go-kart rims from Northern Tool. Put those on there. 
<clears throat> uh, here's the tube that runs long for the throttle. Runs right up using steel cable inside. Pedals I just fabbed up myself. A couple of pieces of metal welded to each other. And then it's got a bolt through the frame. And then I have a spring down below for the return spring. And it's just a hole drilled into the bottom arm of the pedal. And the springs mount and then the spring is uh, mounted with a bolt to the front underneath the arms coming out. And as you can see the arms are just two pieces of metal that sit on top and below the frame and I doubled up with one inch tubing in between so that's all welded together so there's two inches between here and here and this is just flat stock that was cut and then welded to the top and it's plenty strong even even with my 215 pounds it, it doesn't really bend the seat was also bought at our local farm fleet for lawnmower seat and I made a frame mount because it was on a previous go-kart and I don't know if you'll be able to see it with the camera but it's actually pinned under there and because the other one had an adjustable seat so since it's on its own frame it can be moved forwards and backwards and you just have to have a new hole in the frame where you stick the pin through and that way you could adjust for the kids or the adults uh, and that was on the larger go-kart frame I built now this one it's perfect for the kids and it's a squeeze for the adults so it doesn't really need to go back and forth for the spindles those, that's just a three-quarter inch tube with uh, I believe that's a 5 8 bolt welded onto it and then some flat stock welded on for the spindle arm and that's where I made my mistake the first time on the first go-kart which made it handle bad because I had these same type of spindles but I had the arm facing in for clearance for the tire and that screwed up the steering and made it real tough to steer where you, uh, this is the Ackerman angle comes out your steering arm needs to if you run a line straight from the middle of your rear axle all the way up that's the angle that your steering arm should be at so if it's if you put your arms behind it should should go that way in, in. but if you have your arms in the front like I do it needs to go towards the tire so you need to make sure you have enough spacing between the tire and your spindle so that you don't rub and I have just just enough clearance where it doesn't rub but that was one thing I had to figure out and one of the reasons why the the first one uh, needed some tweaking in order to get things right uh, these arms were just twelve dollar ones I bought from Northern Tool you can see how the front of the frame was constructed my uh, from the center of the main support arms going out to the front of the bumper is about six inches my pedals come up in front so right now we don't have a floor on it but it's easy to just rest your foot right here and push on it and since your legs are up you're pushing this way anyways so your feet never fall fall through at some point I might put some metal through, I just haven't got to that point. Uh, put a little metal floor in it 